That's me, shaking my bro Yao Ming's hand after I just fingered a chick courtside. How did I get to the top, you're probably asking? Well, I'll tell you. So the last time you heard about me and the Shanghai Sharks, I was on the run from Yao Ming's goons after a few botched attempts at sneaking into games. It was a dark, dark time of my life. But before I could do anything drastic, I decided to put out a video of my exploits on YouTube. Now the Shanghai Sharks management must have seen something in that video that other people didn't. Because the next day, I got a call from the president of the Shanghai Sharks. Not only did he apologize for the way that I had been treated, he offered me a position as the new foreign ambassador slash brand consultant. The Shark Night rises indeed. Welcome to the Shark Tank! Welcome to the Shark Tank! Being the new foreign ambassador slash brand consultant meant that I was given the keys to the tank. Courtside used to be off limits to me. Now I'm just welcome with open arms. Hey buddy, how you doing? Cheers. I'm talking all access, baby. That way do it, man. Try and drop it. Phenomenal. This is riveting stuff. And the best part about it was, me and my former arch nemesis, Captain Killjoy. Do you want good, please? You said obey the rules here. I uh, said obey the I rules here. Call it, please here, I okay? You make me very angry, you know? Finally squashed our beef. This is my boy, this is my boy. Uh, the captain as he's known he's now, captain, you know? Uh, real friend now, yeah. He does run a very tight ship, but someone's got to. Now this wasn't one of those fake white face jobs that they have out in China. I had a lot of responsibility. My first task was teaching Jeanette and the rest of my concession girls how to finally pour a beer properly. Nice and slow, nice and slow, no foam, baby. This is the most fantastic pour I have seen you do in the past three years. Phenomenal. Nimen shi wo da zhang wo da mama. I will be back at half and we'll probably get six more beers. And when the cheerleaders were having self esteem issues, you know, like calling each other fat, losing a little pep in their step, who do you think was called in to boost their confidence? Bring it in. Bring it in. Listen, if it wasn't for you guys, the shocks would be nothing. You guys are out here every night doing your dance moves, cheering on all the players, regardless of whether they win or lose, okay? You guys are the real heroes! Real heroes! They even had me helping out with the halftime show for a little while. I accidentally truck stick the mascot. I was relieved of my duty. It was probably the safe decision, but if you saw the new halftime show, not the smart one. Okay. All right, looking good. Oh, this halftime show is just electric. Most of the time, though, all I had to do was just sit courtside and heckle the opposing team's players. Number five, what did I say about shooting? What did I say? Don't do it to him, Beast. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him. Oh! He did it to him! He did it to you, number five! You just gotta throw up the brick and then just get owned by Beasley? Today is not your day. Throw in the towel. I'll, I'll see you after the game, dude. All right, I'll stay right there. We hit Jamison. No show. Classic Jamison. However, I saved most of my heckling when the Sharks played Stefan Marbury in the Beijing Ducks. Welcome to the Shark Tank. This ain't the duck pond. Fuck the ducks! Whoa, relax, dude. You can't say that here. Jesus Christ, fuck the ducks! Dude, calm down. Marbury, I saw the play up in Beijing. Shit was weird. We are all Marbury. We are all proud of ourselves. We are all Marbury. We are all Marbury.
like that, my bear? You like that, my bear? That's a dead duck. That's a dead duck. We eat ducks here. We eat ducks here. Am I right? You want some breadcrumbs, Stefan? We don't eat breadcrumbs. The sharks eat nothing but meat. Oh! Bye bye. Sitting courtside wasn't just about being a dick, though. It was also about getting my dick wet. So I'd show up to every game with a new piece of arm candy. So this is my girl Saki. Um, I met her on Tinder. I got quad side seats at the game. I was like, hey, you know? That's a fucking Tinder day checkmate right there. But uh, yeah, no, in reality, she's just a prostitute. You want some, baby? <laughs> That's disgusting. Honestly, not bad. Yes, good! Yes, good! Beasle juice, beasle juice, beasle juice! Oh, sir! Hey, you want to get fingered? Shocks are about to beat the ducks. What am I doing? Courtside. Finger in a chick. Make it, make it. Come a long way. Now sitting courtside came with more perks than just getting chicks moist. I also got to meet my idol, the legend. Okay. I'm trying to tell a story. Could you please just come back later? All right, where was I? Oh yeah. Yao motherfucking Ming. How you doing, man? I love you, bro. Love what you've done for the Sharks. I offered to invest in the Sharks. Yao, 30,000, 5% stake in the Sharks. I'm down. But he politely turned me down. I got the money on me today. I got a lot of faith in him. I'll buy 12% stake off you. Shocks one, baby. <sighs> Thank fuck. So at this point, you're probably wondering how after all my success, it looks like I'm making Cinnabons for a living. Well, that's because I am. Turns out all that heckling finally got to Marbury. He snapped and put a price on my head. Luckily, the Witness Protection Agency hooked it up with this sweet gig back in the States. And by sweet, I mean I'm gonna get fucking diabetes. All right, well, I am a uh, man of my word. This is what we agreed on. Really? Okay. So, what is it, like 9.30? It's still kind of early. You want to you do something? Living the dream, folks. Living the dream. I'm sorry guys, uh, this is gonna be one of my last Dying Dish China videos for a while. Uh, I just can't be in the same country as Stefan Marbury. Turns out he's way more beloved out here than me. Um, but I would love to keep making videos. I love all my loyal fans, so maybe I'll do a few back in the States. But my real dream is Donnie Does India. So if you guys wanna help support that dream, I'm gonna set up a tip box. Uh, you know, I'm even willing to bring one of you along for the ride. So hey, if you want to be a co-star in Diana's India, hit me up.